the Louvre, which was the that, center of European chess. I, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I knew when I saw that cafe, I was like, I know what Café de la Régence is about, but I don't remember. That's what it's about. Okay, let's talk about chess. Well, Morphe would be proud to see these crowds. Welcome, everybody. Game one is underway. And it is Our a uh, King's Indian defense. Sameish variation, pretty surprising, I think, from both players. Hikaru likes to start pretty off B with knight f3 and b3. Here he goes into a mostly sideline Sameish. Usually the bishop comes out to e3, but it doesn't change the character of the position. Yeah, and also a4, queen d2 is an interesting combination because you're never going to castle queenside. Black is going to play b5. But uh, Hikaru will probably... Actually, really, what is, what is the plan here? Because normally you have a knight on c4. You can't do that either. Yeah, this is a very tough position for white to handle. It's kind of a Benoni King's Indian cross. Uh, knight h3 and knight f2 is a very common maneuver here. Sometimes you wait for the knight to come out to d7. There we go. Would you believe it? Hikaru knows typical Samish ideas. Where did he learn that? Yeah, from you, right? You, uh, you, you're a King's Indian expert. He probably studied your games. No, we have three people uh, right now in this uh, picture. We have Hikaru, Alireza, me and you. Three of you have played King's Indian about 100 times plus over the board, and I've played it zero. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I, I, I do not have the nervous system for it. I don't either, trust me. I don't know how I've been <laughs> doing it for 20 years, but you can see Alireza taking the first long think because Black's entire play is basically predicated on getting this queenside play to work. And you're not playing b5 now because White's just going to recapture and the rook on eight is going to hang. If you're not doing that, how are you going to prepare b5? There's our answer. Queen a5 threatens b5. Hikaru mm. says, not on my watch. Yeah, and, and this might look really like science fiction to people at home. I mean, Hikaru has played a4, rook a3, knight h3, and queen d2. Uh, if you're watching this as a beginner, actually, if you're just watching this period, you should not play chess like this with white. You will lose uh, because you will not be able to coordinate and keep together the three sides of the board. But yeah, this queen b4, actually, funny story on... Wednesday night last uh, uh, or earlier this week, I played in um, the Paris Blitz Society, a game against James Canty, who was hyping up the crowd downstairs, and our position looked similar to this. He attacked me on the queen side with black, and if he can break through, he would have had something, but I managed to checkmate him first. So that's kind of what Hikaru is going to look to do, right? He's going to look to get the light squared bishop out, and then maybe castle, and then prepare some sort of attack. And it's very tempting in these positions, Levy, to, to play f4 prematurely, because you want to get that attack started, you want to kick this knight out, but this is why the King's Indian is such a tricky opening. You try to kick pieces away, they move on to even more active squares. F4 is met with knight to c4. That basically forces Hikaru to give up the bishop pair. And this e4 pawn, you want to make sure that it doesn't become a, a major target for black because black can attack it many different and ways. And even take it sometimes. I mean, you could literally sacrifice, not right now because it's well protected, but there are positions. Yeah, look at Hikaru, queen c2. Ooh. You know, this is one of those positions where having the evaluation bar is completely meaningless. Like 0 0.5 here, is like 0 0.5, but you have to uh, juggle three potatoes and they're all on fire at the same time. Like, it, something will crash. But Hikaru is very experienced. He plays queen c2. I just want to point out, I think of e4, d4, c4, and knight f3, d4 is like the least popular move that he plays. He almost never plays d4 on the first move. Especially online. Yeah, yeah. one knight f3 and then c4, b3, but his pawn doesn't end up on d4 until at least move eight or move nine. But Ferruja's queen might end up off of this board if he's not careful. Bishop d2, what a tricky retreating move by Hikaru. What is he threatening? He is yep. threatening this knight jump to b5. Let me show this on our first analysis board of the SCC. Let's say that Ali Reza keeps improving his position. He's not going to do that. White moves the knight up to b5 or not. But this is a discovered attack against the queen. Could we see a queen sacrifice in the event of knight b5? This is how ridiculous the king's Indian is. How is the queen not trapped? I mean, maybe it is. Maybe Black plays knight takes d5, sacks the queen, gets a bunch of pieces for it. We might get total pandemonium here. But Ali Reza, after a long think, he tries to solve his problems tactically with knight c4, hating this bishop, trying to earn more real estate for the queen. Yes, and uh, after rook to b3, I guess his idea is bishop takes a4. Whoa. Winning the rook to the queen. And that is the best move. Also, isn't there a, a knight hanging at the end? Oh, but the rook is trapped. This is an unbelievable line. I have to, Shikaru is processing this right now. Yeah. Rook to b3, queen can So Ali Reza is planning to take on a4, good call. This pins the rook to the queen, white takes the queen, black takes the queen, chomp, chomp, chomp. Black's down a piece. Yeah. No, I'm not. Ah. Now the rook is trapped. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. We're gonna get two pieces for a rook. Oh, but I think he missed b5, knight takes b5. Because otherwise you lose the whole rook. Yeah. Nope, knight takes b5, exposing yeah. a discovered attack against the bishop. Yeah, yeah, because... Simple chess, Levy, this is too basic. We need... Well, real calculation. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, he. But I think this is what he missed because you you never give up the knight here. Oh, but they didn't even do this. 
<laughs> Short circuit. What New just commentator happened? pairs. What just happened? Ali Reza sacked his queen. Rook b3 was played. And instead of taking on a4, Veruja took the bishop, sacking the queen. Oh, man. And he will get a rook and a piece for it. Look at that King's Indian bishop. It's uncontested. And you've had games like this with black. And I feel like black is fine. You mean down a queen against Hikaru? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you said that. I've had that too. Yeah, but but did you? But if you take on a4 and start pushing your a-pawn, I mean, practically speaking, white is doing great. Uh, but, sorry, black is doing great. No, and this is the beauty of the King's Indian, the eval bar. Well, now it changes. Before that, it hadn't changed. It was 0.5 on move three. It was 0.5 on move 19, and Ali Reza is in the driver's seat here. I just Levy. want to point out that the line for black to get an advantage here is so simple. You move the knight to d7, your bishop opens up, and then you play b5. And like, what else were you planning to do? Pushing, uh, pushing pawns, as Hikaru likes to yeah. say. Well, I mean, I would be also tempted to push the a pawn, especially because this promotion square is controlled by the uncontested dark square bishop. I'm bishop. I'm just curious, how is Hikaru going to generate counterplay fast enough to counteract that levy. Maybe you just push your pawns in the center if you're white, try to deflect black's attention. But where are you putting your king? You haven't moved your light-scored bishop. Where are you putting your king? Yeah, I hadn't gotten around to yeah, that yet. I hadn't arranged it. Yes, yes, we just we, we just advance. I will have everybody know that the giant question mark on the screen has dropped Hikaru's accuracy to only 98%. So, yeah, this immediate move feedback is really, like, upsetting because you just... You just get told you're stupid, and then it just sits there. But, like, it's a very normal move. He's opening up his queen. He's trying to fight for the queen side. And, by the way, Ali Reza has a, a minute down. I mean, he only has 90 seconds to figure out this position. And if he's not fast enough with his counterplay, he carves up a freaking queen. He's like, up a queen in a minute. Those yeah. are two things that you do not want against Nakamura. Folks, this is game one of the first semifinal of the Speed Chess Championship. Thank you, everybody joining us around the world and live on site in Paris. It's Hikaru versus Ali Reza. It's a Samish King's Indian with a queen sack and with Levy Rosman predicting Ali Reza's night maneuver and dropping back, looking good. I will just say, what would the odds have been of a King's Indian Samish being the first opening of this match? I mean, you don't want the Samish old stuff every game. I mean, you want some new stuff. That was good. That, that, that was good. First pun of the day. I, they'll get better, I promise. Yeah. Knight to c5, but look at knight d3. Yeah. Deflecting, I mean, trying to undo the Gordian knot here on the queen but, side. But what was the, I mean, can we back up? He was forked. Why, so what was the point? Like before knight c5, it's a fork. He had to play b5 apparently. And just give up the, wow, look at this. b5, queen d6, and bishop c3. And this is good for black. And then bc actually opens up a defender on that knight on d7. Uh, but that's not findable. Wow. So instead he went knight c5, Hikaru finds knight d3, Ali Reza pushes. Yes. And it's very important for the fans at home watching, and also here, you are also more than welcome to learn with us. Uh, it's very important when you play with an imbalance of queen versus rook and piece, that you trade the right pieces at the right moments, and that way the queen is not subjected to the teamwork of the enemy pieces. Right now, yes, Ali Reza has two pieces for that queen, but the light-squared bishop for black is useless. And this wall of pawns that H Hikaru has on the board, stands very nicely and does a great job fighting off uh, the counterplay that black can create. And if the dark squared bishop becomes useless, then you're in big trouble, and it might, because Hikaru is just a couple steps away from pushing f4 and e5. Yep. It feels like Ali Reza, he keeps preparing something and preparing something, and by the time he prepares it, I mean, you know, my flight out of Paris might be, might be out. And He's got to get his pawns rolling. Yeah, let's show, like, there's a line, king d2, b5, you take, bishop b5. And right. yeah, so king d2, b5, we can just quickly show this on the board. You Eggs. take rook, bishop b5, rook b1. And, and I think that's just the end of the game because you trade a bishop and a rook, mm -hmm. and that's it. Uh, rook. Not here because the rook is hanging. First, you trade the rooks. Yes. And Levy, this is what you're saying. This is the exact wrong kind of imbalance. Black's right. just dropping all of his pawns. Correct. I'm not educating you, but just, you know, if anybody's out there listening. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is exactly what you don't want. But instead, king f2 by Nakamura. Look at both players under a minute. First game is obviously going to be a time scramble. I think a lot of games are. Hikaru trying to mobilize his rook, trying to make sure that this pawn doesn't get past a4, the b7 pawn doesn't get past b5. I think this is what Hikaru wants. He wants time scrambles, especially when you've got a queen and your opponent doesn't. But uh, I forget who the bullet champion is. Yeah, it, it is Ali Reza, but Ali Reza started those games with an equal position and one minute each. I mean, uh, getting dropped into a bullet game in a losing position is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, but it is uh, Hikaru's game to lose. Like Magnus said yesterday, it's his match to, uh, it's his event to lose. This is Hikaru's game to lose. But I think this is now not looking great for Black Ali Reza. He finally played B5. At least he gets to keep an extra pair of rooks on the board. Yes. But one thing we haven't talked about, Levy, Hikaru also has a pass pawn. Yep. 
You can't push it just yet because the bishop will drop back with a fork. Now you can. Yeah. Now he will. He could also play rookie one and e5. Yeah. Polyrez is not fast enough on the queen side. You could also play h4, maybe like ju just to just to poke and see and uh, see what opportunities you can open up for your king. But yeah, I think d6 is very natural. I would I would play it as long as bishop e5 check and rook b6, which is immediately bad for white. And how easy is it to blunder your queen to a skewer? Your king is not too safe if you're Nakamura, but rookie one is on the board, cold blooded. It's He's the best two move, steps right? away. E5, e6 is coming. Black's king is going to get under fire. Yeah, rook e1. I mean, yeah, it may be better than running the pawn was simply bringing the rook that you haven't moved the entire game. Rook b6, and... Um... Ooh, now you can't push your pawn. Okay, queen f4. Three seconds for Ali Reza. Maybe bishop e5 check. Try to provoke some weaknesses. Yeah, Ali Reza with three seconds on the clock. It's simply not going to get it done here. You could maybe even take the pawn, but Icaro goes back to c6. But now, now you can either walk your king or even f4, but... Okay. Clinical so far. G3 preparing F4. Ali Reza keeps pushing. An avalanche is coming. F45, D6. Oh my goodness. Wait, he's true, but Ali Reza trying to complicate the game. If you F3, Q3, maybe? But... Yes, but then the other rook doubles on B2. Yes, then you run your king. Oh, this is very dangerous. D6. I got one too. We see a check. Is, the, is there? Okay, it's coming just... next. Yes, Queen C2, Queen C8. Boom. But it's still, you still have to convert what? this. Ali Reza's got another. I thought it was line. just winning. <laughs> Queen C4. And Queen D4. You're so G6. close, but Black's pieces are coordinating. This is what Ali Reza does. Bishop G1 threatening H5. Oh my god. Oh, but he, but Hikaru's in time. Zig and zagging out yeah. of the trap, yeah. and Hikaru's gonna G5. win. King G5, Queen F7. F6. Game one. Mate, no, you're pinned. Yes, just in time. Hikaru takes game one.